Hey Gemini, it's Kay with Good Karma Tarot. This is going to be your love reading for January 2021 or the rest of it. So let's go ahead and see what's going on with Gemini and love. A lot of pinnacles. A lot of pinnacles. All pinnacles so far. So you have the Seven of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles with the Seven of Wands, Hermit, and what is that? The Six of Pentacles. Three of Swords in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Really interesting energy. Really interesting. So, let's start with the Three of Swords in reverse. So, I'm feeling this was a past situation or emotional trauma that you went through that you had to practice forgiveness or release. Some kind of heartbreak that you had to release. Now, with the Seven of Cups being right underneath that, you could have been treated as an option in love or... Whatever this heartbreaking experience was for you, it could have created a lot of confusion, put you in your head, specifically around love. But we do have the King of Wands here, and I'm seeing this as you interesting enough. It's kind of like you're pursuing somebody, is the energy I'm getting from this. You're ready to take action. You're ready to give love another chance again. So with the Seven of Pentacles, it's kind of like you've been cultivating trust and a foundation with someone, a strong foundation. And I feel like everything that you've been growing in love up until this point, I feel like it's getting ready to bloom. You're getting ready to experience a harvest with this card. Or... You were going through like this heartbreaking experience and the seven of pentacles could be like you building yourself back up again, investing in yourself before making an offer. But I do feel like you're on the verge of making an offer with the page of pentacles. It's something stable, um, something sustainable for you that you're getting ready to offer. So you've been cultivating something, that's for sure. And again, you're on the verge of getting ready to make this offer. Someone who you see as this Queen of Pentacles energy, regardless of gender. So somebody you see as loving, nurturing, potentially practical, abundant, prosperous. Someone who works hard with the Eight of Pentacles. But this can also be you you're ready to put in the work yourself or you've just really worked on yourself you've invested a lot of time into yourself and your career or the person you're dealing with has so then we have virgo energy you could be dealing with a virgo capricorn or taurus doesn't have to be but with this, I feel like it has to do with this Three of Swords in reverse. Because at one point, this was upright. Which means you were heartbroken, devastated. Like, that, that sort of thing, you know. And you had to bring yourself into this space of letting go and forgiving somebody for whatever happened here. So you've gone within. You've been reflecting. You've been shining a light in the darkness. And I feel like you've gotten some illumination from this. So here you are with the Seven of Wands. It's kind of like, yeah, I'm ready to fight for love. I'm ready to stand up for what I believe in, that sort of thing. Stand up for what you deserve as well. And what you want is the Six of Pentacles energy. So you're wanting an equal partnership. You're wanting an equal balance of give and take. Sorry about the lighting. You could be a very generous person, or the person you're dealing with is very generous. There is that energy here. 
So, let's see, okay. That was pretty straightforward and funny. Bottom of the deck is the King of Pentacles. Okay. What is this? Seven of Pentacles? Yeah, that, that's exactly what I thought. We have the Four of Wands. So this can be you committing to somebody, um, commitment of some kind. So you've been, again, building a strong foundation with somebody. Could be this Queen of Wands energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. As of now, it's for the most part all earth and fire. But yeah, you've been cultivating a foundation with someone and you have a growing passion for someone. There's a lot of chemistry between you and someone as well. And then we have the Three of Pentacles here. So this is kind of like wanting to make it official with it being next to the Four of Wands. Or you just see this as somebody that you can build a life with. Okay. We're not going to take those. Alright, so what is it that Gemini is offering or being offered to you? Remember, it could be vice versa. What is it Gemini is offering or being offered? Yeah, so a, a lot of a lot of fire. That came out of nowhere. Because <laughs> before it was just very practical and very grounded energy, which is weird for a Gemini, unless you have Earth in your chart. That's really weird for Gemini. So you were thinking, you were having a practical mindset about the whole thing. I think, I think that with this heartbreak, you just learned how to take things slow, and then also you just really weren't open for it at the time. And then we have, with the Judgment card here, you calling your power back to you. You could have gone through an awakening or a trans, um, transformation of some kind. Again, we saw that here with the Virgo card, or the Hermit card. You were shining a light on the darkness in order to call your power back, because you obviously gave your power away in this situation, whatever that was for you. So with the Six of Wands, it's like you getting victory and success and love. Or this is what you're offering. This is what you're going after. And with the Page of Wands, it being over the Page of Pentacles, I don't feel like it's a huge offer that's being offered to you or you're offering to someone else. But there is that um, you are feeling inspired to make this offer. You're feeling passionate about somebody. But with the bottom of the deck, there's the Knight of Cups, right? So there is the emotional depth to it as well. So it's beautiful. Okay. I don't really feel that we need to clarify the Queen of Pentacles and Eight of Pentacles. That's pretty simple. Um... Let's do the Hermit. What were they shining a light on? What was Gemini? So, Queen of Swords energy. You could have been dealing with somebody that unexpectedly cut you off is the first initial message that I'm getting for this. They could have turned their back on you. They could have been really cold or hasty with their words. Which is interesting because I usually only get that when the Queen of Swords shows up in the reverse. But it came up upright. But that's... Yeah, let's, let's dig into that. What were they shining a light on? Or was this y you being distant from someone? You not being honest with yourself and you had to go within to truly understand your feelings? Yeah. Okay, so that's what it is. Because <laughs> this is on your side. This is on your side. So both could apply, but you weren't being honest with yourself in some way. So we have the lovers here, a really strong soul connection that you feel with someone. This could be a twin flame for you. And then we have the Ten of Cups with Justice and the Ace of Cups on the bottom and the Ace of Wands. Wow. Powerful energy, powerful energy. 
Yeah, so you feel this strong connection with somebody. You feel very in sync with someone. And there's someone that makes you really happy. It's kind of like you have all these emotions for someone. But with justice, it's interesting because I'm getting the energy that you were holding back for whatever reason. And your heart was probably just not open to the love. It's like the passion was there. You felt love for someone. But there was something else that you had to take care of. Maybe you were building up your own happiness again, your own sense of happiness. What is the Seven of Wands? What is the Gemini fighting for? <laughs> you got the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles again. Yeah, so you're absolutely making an offer. So this could be a new relationship for some of you. But it's like the beginning stages. It feels like the beginning stages because you have three pages here. This could be somebody that you have kids with or that you want kids with. Okay, so we have the Four of Swords in reverse. So the message I'm getting with that, I feel like upright, this was you while going through this really difficult experience, this heartbreaking experience, and you've managed to pull yourself out of hermit mode and out of this healing. And with the Two of Swords being at the bottom, you had to make a decision, do I want... Do I want to start something new or don't I, basically? Or maybe you had a choice between two different people. It'll be different for all of you. But we do have the Ace of Pentacles here. So you are getting ready to get offered something stable. If this is definitely a stable offer. We're making this offer. Yeah. All right. Um, what's the Six of Pentacles? Okay, so that's good. Six of Pentacles. So in the past, you could have been dealing with somebody who was controlling. Um, we do have the Devil here, which is Capricorn energy. It's in reverse, thank God. So either you were literally breaking free from Capricorn, could have been a karmic situation, or this person that you were with was just really controlling. Yeah. Yeah, and then we have the Seven of Swords coming over that double. So they could have cheated. They could have been dishonest with you. And just things weren't balanced overall. But then we have the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups here. So it's obvious that you want that emotional depth, but you also want something that's stable, something that's secure, something that's long-lasting. And with the Four of Pentacles in reverse at the bottom, you want somebody with their heart open. Somebody who's loving, nurturing, um, that sort of thing. Could be dealing with an intuitive or somebody that um, loves what they do. Something like that. And there's that Knight of Cups again. Again, that the offer that you're making. Yeah, so overall it looks really good. As long as you've broke, broken free from this past relationship, I see an offer being extended to you. And we got the Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, you've been investing in yourself. You've been building yourself back up, which we saw that earlier on in your reading. But also you've been investing in someone else. And it looks really positive. So what's the outcome for Gemini? What's the outcome for Gemini? Ten of Wands. Um, you see how her bags are packed and she's moving. You could be moving. Some of you might be relocating. Or this is you closing out that toxic cycle. Okay. So we have the Nine of Cups. Again, you're own emotional happiness is coming up also this is saying this is a wish fulfillment for you and then we have the hermit again virgo energy going within about your happiness what it is that you really want and then we have the five of pentacles in the reverse so somebody could have left you out in the cold in the past 
But it's good that this is reverse. Because it's saying, I feel like you're no longer attracting this. And then we have strength, card of Leo. Yeah, it, it took a lot of strength for you to pull yourself out of this situation that was really heartbreaking for you. It wasn't easy. It, like, I, I see how much this hurt you. And then we have the Knight of Cups showing up for the third or fourth time. So, yeah, outcome is you. You receiving an offer or extending an offer of love. There's like a sense of, there's a sense of um, gratitude as well. There's like a lot of gratitude for whoever this is. There's a lot of happiness that you share with this individual. And then we have the Eight of Cups with the Six of Swords as well. Heavy travel energy with those three cards being next to, you, next to each other. The Ten of Wands, Eight of Cups, and the Six of Swords. Yeah, so the Eight of Cups is you lighting a match on your past, letting it go, and giving yourself permission to move on from this because you know that something's better. She has a suitcase in her hand too. Some of you are traveling or moving, or you could just be distancing yourself from a past person, and then somebody new comes in, and the moon in reverse. So you've gotten clarity on the situation, you know what you want, and you're ready to go after it. Cool. All right, that's everything that I have for you, Gemini. You guys have an amazing month, and I'll see you in the February videos. Before we finish the reading, if this reading resonates for you, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it, and it helps out my channel a lot. Also, I have free content on my Facebook page and Instagram. The, just, um, the links are listed in the description box below, as well as my website so that you can book a personal reading. All right, thank you, guys.